oral steroids are still the mainstay of treatment of eczema. I tend to avoid oral steroids as much as I can. Um, they have a lot of side effects and with eczema, especially when you come off the oral steroids, especially in atopic eczema, you can get a rebound flare. Uh, and often topical steroids will work far better than oral steroids. When you're selecting a steroid, there's a few things you want to keep in mind. Firstly, ointments in the main work better than creams. Creams tend to be a bit drying, whereas ointments tend to be moisturising. The penetration of the active ingredient of a steroid compound, a steroid, topical steroid preparation is influenced by the base. In an ointment, you get better penetration. So typically I'll use an ointment. If it's a weeping exudative mess, I'll use a cream initially till it dries out and then we'll change them to an ointment. You wanna use, when you're confronted with a steroid responsive rash, topical steroid responsive rash, you, you don't wanna die wondering um, whether you've made the right diagnosis by using a weak steroid and then if it doesn't respond, you don't know did it not respond because my diagnosis was wrong and this isn't a rash that's responsive to steroids or did I just use too weak a steroid? Very commonly I'll see people come in with you know, a very significant eczema and all they've been given is 1% hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone will work on the face, it'll work on the genitals, but it just will not cut the custard away from those areas. It won't work on the arms or legs usually or the trunk. You really need to use a stronger steroid my typical action is to use a potent topical steroid and then come down to the weaker ones. Usually, if your topical steroid is going to work, it will have worked within 48, 72, 96 hours. If it hasn't worked by then, it's probably not going to work. So I'll get them to use a potent steroid. Um, I tend to use things like betamethasone dipropionate, which is diprazone, or mometasone ointment, which is elecon, but you can use whatever you want. I get them to put it on once a day. There's no, no great advantage of using it more often than that. Um, if it's very severe, I'll get them to occlude it with some wet compresses for half an hour or so. The best time to put it on is after they've had a shower and, and then I see how they go. I warn them in detail about the side effects of the topical steroids and I tell them, you know, I, I expect this to be making some impact on your rash within the next four or five days. If it doesn't, I want you to ring me. Um, um, I tell them that when they go to the pharmacist, the pharmacist will terrorise them and, and tell them that topical steroids cause all sorts of terrible side effects like thinning of the skin and stretch marks, etc. That's all entirely true, but that mainly happens after a very long period of use and also when the steroids have been used when they shouldn't be. Um, and I point out to them that they've got a significant skin rash which is going to be causing damage to the skin anyway and we need to get on top of it. Um, so I've chosen a topical steroid. I start with a strong one. I use that till I get control and then I come down to a mild one. Um, and so typically my, my, my progression might be from mometasone ointment, Elecon or Novazone, and I'll then come down to something like Aristocord ointment, which is a fifth strength ointment um, and comes in a 100 gram tube rather than a 15 gram tube. And then I might come down to just moisturisers. At the same time as that's going on, we're doing all that other stuff with the moisturisers and treating secondary infection, etc. On the subject of supply, um, potent topical steroids come in tiny little tubes, 15 grams. You, you need, you know, if you're gonna, if you've got someone with a widespread eczema, um, uh, you know, with trunk and limbs involved, where you think topical steroids will work, they're going to need a lot more than 15 grams if they're going to have a week's treatment. So ring up and get an authority prescription, 1-800-888-333, it doesn't take a second. You ask for four tubes or six tubes and two repeats, okay? That'll make all the difference. Um, and then you organise to review them. Typically, most cases of, of um, eczema will respond if you've addressed all those issues.